Happy Easter, everyone, and welcome back to Wear It Wednesday. Excited to share my Easter outfit with all of you. But for starters, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell underneath that, and then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help my channel to grow, which I would greatly appreciate. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up if you loved this beautiful purple and white Easter look. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back and happy Easter, or I should say happy belated Easter since you will get this late, but today is Easter day for me. What an amazing day, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Three days ago, he died on the cross for our sins, took on the sins of the world, paid an ultimate price for our salvation, and then three days later rose today. He, he has risen, you guys, has risen from the dead and now sits at the right hand of his father waiting for all who has their salvation one day to meet him. What an amazing gift he did for all of us. And that's what Easter truly is about. And I hope all of you guys are or did have a wonderful Easter. I am having a great Easter and I did go to church today and we'll be going to church this evening and I'm making a great ham dinner and yeah, it's just Love this day, but it truly is about Jesus rising from the dead. Amazing. Let's read our words of Jesus for women, and then we'll go on to my Easter look, what I chose. All right, let's see what God has for us. A close-knit family, John 17, 20, and 21. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will, will all be one, just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, I am in you. And may they be in you so that the world will believe you sent me. And it goes on to say, it's so sad when Christians disagree, especially, especially when their arguments are over things that have no importance in the realm of eternity. Jesus prayed for unity with other believers. All who called Jesus their Savior are in his family. When Christians argue and criticize one another, it takes attention away from the message of Jesus' love for the world. It certainly doesn't make life as a believer attractive to those you're trying to bring to faith. Jesus prayed that his followers would live in unity with one another and with him and God. That's the best way for unbelievers to see the truth of his love. Wow, that's really amazing. I love that, you guys. You know, that's all he wants. He just wants us. He doesn't want us to argue and fight. You know, Christians should all just unite together, and that's what he wanted to unite as one. Like, you know, everybody uniting as one here. That's what he's saying. We're all in one, and that's why God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are all in one, and he wants us to unite that way. And, you know, so many people fight and argue. I mean, it even says in the Bible, it talks about kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation, people turning away from people, you know, people just, you know, just fighting and arguing all the time. And he doesn't want that. He wants everybody to have unity, everybody to love everybody. I mean, for God to love the world, he loved everybody. Nobody was different to him. Nobody is different in his eyes. We're all the same. So we all should try to be as loving and as kind as we can be and unite as one. That's what Jesus wants. And it's just amazing to know that, you know, he died for us so we could have our salvation because he wants us to unite with him in heaven too. And he wants us to be there with him and spend eternity with him living a wonderful life. No sadness, no fears, no anxiety, just just happiness, total happiness. So let's all try to unite as one. Be kind to everybody. I mean, everybody's going through a hard, tough time. So just be kind and loving to everyone and just, you know, 
get close to Jesus, get really close to him, get a personal relationship. And then people will see that through you, um, the Christian, you know, walk that you have be as Christ like as you can. Of course, we're going to make mistakes. That's why he died for us. But try to, you know, try to be sweet and, and kind to everyone and unite as one. Let's all try to unite as one. That's what we're trying to do. Unite as one. The bottom says, how good and pleasure it is when God's people live together in unity. Psalms 133, 1. And it is, it's so good when we live in unity, when we all live as one. God wants us all just to be kind and, you know, don't judge, don't pick on anybody. Be kind even to the enemy. Be good to everybody. Don't wish any harm upon anybody and just, you know, keep praying for people and being kind and loving. That's all we can do. One person at a time, trying to unite as one. That's the best we can do. And ask Jesus to help us with that. He will. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it. Study it. Get a personal relationship with the Lord, reading his word. God's word he wrote for us. Let's get on our knees and pray and spend some quality alone time with the Lord and read this book. You are going to change. Your whole life will change when you read this. And get, you know, getting rid, like I always say, of the garbage, the all the, you know, um, uh, you know, the media and the newspaper and all the fear that they're trying to put in us, making all of us uh, sheep. You know, let's not be a sheep. Like I said in another video, let's all be lions and let's roar. Let's just, you know, fight for Christianity for everybody. Try to help save everybody's soul. Bring as many people to the Christ to Christ as we can, you know, and how you do that is getting close to him. The closer we draw to him, the closer he draws to us and helps us to, you know, draw closer to others. So pick this up and read it. You're going to love it. You guys, I promise you, you're going to love what God has written for us and it will help you to live that Christ like life. So what wonderful verses for today for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful day. All right, and it was a gorgeous day out, 75 degrees here, almost, actually it was 78, sunny, gorgeous, gorgeous day for the resurrection of Christ. What a beautiful day. I had fun doing the outfit and just getting out and about, going to church and all of that. So I will share it with you guys now. I went with a purple and white look. I did that beautiful set of nails that I said I just love. Looks like royalty. It's just looks like velvet. It's gorgeous. I love it. And so I went with a uh, purple and white look, of course, already knowing the outfit. So that's why I did the nails. But the nails are slightly a little darker. And as I turn it, you see they get lighter to match the dress I'm wearing. So let's go over it. All right. The dress. I don't remember the brand name on here, but it, I found it at Goodwill. Excited about that. I'm going to undo. Um, well, actually, I'll show you with the jacket, then we'll take it off. But it's a purple dress. I'm going to stand up and I have a jacket over it. I also found this jacket at Goodwill as well. It's short in the back. And it comes down to the points in the front. And I pinned it off because I want to put a button in there. I told you in another video when I did this one, um, I just pinned it close. I want to put a button there. I'm going to put a button there just so it closes off. But it is beautiful open too. I just love how it hangs down. I love how the back is shorter. And then, of course, this beautiful purple dress that I have. I will go ahead and open up the jacket. But again, I got the jacket from Goodwill and I got the dress from Goodwill. I get such great deals. And I'll have to link down below the brands of the dress and the jacket. I'll link it down below. But here's the dress. Just a form-fitting, beautiful purple dress. Just a round neck in it. It is short sleeve. And it's two pieces. It's like a lace piece. And I'm going to stand up and show you the other part. And it's just form-fitting all the way around. Just nice and form-fitting dress. Done in a beautiful magenta purple. And then I'll stand up on the chair to show you the length of it. And you see it's got the two pieces. It's like cotton and then a lace piece over the top. All one piece. But isn't that beautiful, you guys? And it's a perfect length, just a, you know, just a tad above the knee, but just such a beautiful color and so beautiful for Easter. I love, love it. I absolutely love the purple for Easter. And so I'm going to take the jacket off here so you guys can see it without the jacket. Now, in the video, I did it both with the jacket and without, so you get to see it. Um, the jacket is, let's see, BCBG. Um, I mean, BCB Generation is the name of this jacket. But like I said, I got it from Goodwill and just a beautiful sports jacket. I love it. It's got the silk inside. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, the dress now is short sleeve. See, it's a short sleeve dress, but it's perfect for weather like this. So that's why I had to take it off because I was actually getting pretty warm today. It is actually hot. I mean, almost 80 degrees and I had the jacket on. So it was, the sun was really beating down. It was really warm. So anyways, but... 
Went with the purple dress and the white jacket with it. I love the look of it. And you will hopefully see a photo of my husband with me. Um, he's wearing uh, black pants, I believe. Uh, I believe he's going to go with the white shirt. And then the tie we got for him has shades of purple in it. It's really gorgeous. And we took are taking some photos at church this evening. So hopefully I'll be able to squeeze those in here, those photos. If not, I think he's wearing all black with that tie. I'm not sure which one he's doing. But I tried to get him to do the white, so I think he is doing the white. Um, like I said... Won't know until we go to church this evening. So hopefully I'll be able to throw some photos in here of me and him together with the purple and the white like that. It's just beautiful. So yeah, so that's what I did. So I did the beautiful purple form-fitting dress with the white jacket and perfect for a church. This is beautiful for church, beautiful for Easter. If you get together with your family and everything, just a beautiful color for Easter. I like the shade of it. It was perfect. And then I've got the hair down and all curled. I went with my beach curls. I love the curls in it and had it down. And then I pinned in this flower here that I got from Dollar Tree and the color is is a shade darker. I went with different shades of purple because I'm going to show you why when I show you the shoes. Um, so, and then the, of course the nails were a shade darker and all of that. And then just the different shades of purple running through it with the flowers and all that. So that's a shade darker, but a beautiful flower in my hair. And then, um, like I said, a shade darker. All right. And then the jewelry, I went with the white jewelry that I got, um, a ways back at Walmart a couple years ago. Um, when I got those sets that were $2 for the earrings of the necklace. So you got the beautiful drop necklace here with the beads on it. And then just that pearlized look or like a marble look. Just gorgeous with all that in it. And then the matching earrings with it. So I went with the white like that. And then for the bracelets and everything, I'm wearing a few different stuff. I'm wearing this beautiful watch uh, bracelet that I got at Charming Charlie's way back. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look at that dark royal purple. Isn't that beautiful? So again, went with different shades. And then I got the pearl bracelets to match with the necklace. And then this one here was my grandmother's bracelet. I got it years ago. My grandmother passed away years and years ago, my mom's mother. And so I'm wearing that purple bracelet and just wanted all the different shades of purple in there. And then my big uh, flower ring that I got from a yard sale. Um, and then the pearl ones are from Charming Charlie's. So that was just from a grad sale. They, a lady made them. I think she had a few different ones. But yeah, I love that. It's just a stretch ring, a beautiful flower ring. So I thought that would be perfect with this look. Okay, so that's the jewelry. And yep, the other side's just my usual, my wedding ring and strength ring and just my godly rings I wear. Okay, so that's the jewelry. That's the dress and the jacket and the way I wore the hair. Then the makeup, I did a di couple different palettes. And I'll show you that and the eyelashes and then of course the glitter Let me get that. all right okay so for the eyes i did two palettes for the um the eyelid and to smoke it out i went with my tamix from ulta i went with the two colors in here the eyelid is called true love and above it for the um smoky is called twilight and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to tip it upside down here. So that one right there is on the eyelid. And that, or wait, am I doing it backwards? Nope, I'm doing it right. Eyelid. And that one there is what I smoked it out with. And again, it's True Love is the lighter one. And the darker one is Twilight. Beautiful, beautiful shades of purple on the eye. And then to give me a highlight, I did my Urban Decay. And I went with the one called Blur see if I can show you that. This is just so messed up. This one here, it's a pinkish purple. I went with that for the highlight, a beautiful baby uh, light lavender purple. This one could have worked too, but I like this one better. That one matched better with the outfit. So that's what I did for the eyes. And then I'm wearing, the eyelashes are the Dolly. I, you know, picked up a couple packs of these too, because I like these because they're not as bold, but they're still long and beautiful and just perfect, you know, and I just, I wanted something again, um, semi-dramatic, Long, beautiful, but not as dramatic. I want them to look a little bit more real. So I went with the Dolly 973. That's from Dollar Tree. And the lip color I'm wearing is the Lip Duo and matches perfectly with this. It's almost the exact same color as the dress and it's called Vibe. And I am wearing both the top and the bottom. So there's the top. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? And it's called Vibe and it's that uh, Ellie Colors Lip Duo. And then the gloss I'm wearing, whoops, is that and it's just so pretty together i don't normally wear the two i normally just do a matte one with just the top but i wanted some shimmer today some glass to it isn't that pretty you guys such a beautiful color matches perfect with all of this but i'm going to get close for you now so that you can see the eyes opened and closed oh and the glitter i'm wearing 
is the micro glitter I get from Joann Fabrics right there. I usually use it for the nails, but I also want to cross the eyelid over the um, eyelash. When the eyelash is wet with the glue, I go across it with a hard brush that I would use for like eyebrows and I dip in the, in the glitter and I put it across so I get a nice straight line. So I'm going to do an open and close. Of course, I do it in the video as well for you guys, but we got open and close and open and I'll look down a little bit so you can see it and close and hopefully my eyelashes are on good and they're not coming up. I did have to Stick them down a little bit. Nope, they're they're fine. Yep, they're okay. I did glue the corners down, but isn't that pretty with that purple glitter and the purples on the eye? I just thought it was really perfect with this outfit. So the makeup, so now you've seen the outfit, the makeup, the jewelry, the way I did the hair, and I, I just, I felt so pretty. A lot of people complimented me at church today saying, wow, the purple looks so pretty on you, and it's very Easter-y. Purple's very pretty for Easter, so is pink. But I've done pink before for Easter, so I wanted to do, I've done yellow, but I really like the purple. So yeah, the purple and the white. All right. And then um, for the shoes and the bag, the shoes I am wearing, um, Ellie, I believe they're called, or L, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Look at that, you guys. That's why I loved it with the darker color. And then the lighter color is the color of the dress. Aren't those amazing, you guys? Oh my gosh, so amazing. I've showed you guys these before, but aren't they cute? And again, I got these from a Goodwill. Oh my gosh, so cute. Absolutely love these. And they're called L, I believe. Yeah, L E L L E. And these were Goodwill, but I'm sure you can look online and find these. I've actually seen them online when I looked online. So gorgeous, right? With that two tone. I mean, look at how cute that looks with the dress. Perfect. And then to top it off, the bag I went with, look at, see? That darker purple now to match the darker purple. So all the purples were so pretty together. So that's why I thought I was going to do a different shoe. I was going to do white shoes, a white uh, wedge. And I thought, oh my gosh, when I seen these up on top that it matched this dress perfectly, I thought, yep, that's the ones I'm going with. But aren't these gorgeous, especially with the strap, how it comes up, the peep toe, so beautiful, you guys. And then the purse. And I'm not sure where the purse came from. I'll have to link that down below for you guys. I'm not sure. But it is um, an you know uh, over-the-shoulder bag. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got the little, uh, you know, little tag here that hangs off of it. And it's just one pouch like that. Not a real big purse, but it is an over-the-shoulder bag. Absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, had to top it off with the sunglasses. And check these out. Perfect color, too. Aren't those great, you guys? And, of course, it was so sunny. So we needed the shades today. And I got these from Dollar Tree. I get a, most of my shades from Dollar Tree. I do get them from different places, too. But... I, I get a lot of glasses from Dollar um, Dollar Tree and from Five Below. I like, I like to get them from there. Actually, I wonder if these are from Five Below. I don't think so. I think they're Dollar Tree. But if they're Five Below, I'll put it down below. But I think these are Dollar Tree. But look at that. Perfect for all the different shades of what I had going on. Super cute, right? Oh, my gosh. Absolutely loving all these colors and just, you know, are all the different shades of purple. I love the look. I think it turned out beautiful. So that is everything. And I hope you guys, like I said, had a wonderful Easter. I hope all of you guys um, enjoyed yourself and remembered what Easter was about and just got to get together with your family and everything. I know with everything going on, it's, you know, hard to get together with people in big groups and stuff, but I hope you guys did. I hope you got together with your family and had a good time and remembered the resurrection of Jesus, got to church. I hope you guys got to church too and just are serving our good Lord and thanking him for what he did for us. And then he rose today. What an amazing day. So I had a lot of fun and I love the outfit. I love the way it turned out for Easter. And I love that I get to share it with all of you guys. So I hope everybody is staying safe, happy and healthy and leaning on the Lord. And thank you all for all your prayers. You guys are so kind. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, my cousin and my uh, brother-in-law are still both on hospice and um, still, you know, alive, um, but uh, not doing good. So still asking for prayers, you guys. I don't know when you guys will see this video, if they'll still be around then. I'm hoping they are, but um, just thank you so much for your prayers. And I will continue to pray for all of you. Now let's get on to this adorable Easter purple and white look. It's very classy, cute, very girly, very, very pretty for Easter. I love you all very much. God bless and take care.
Thank you.